I'll tell you, learning guitar in general was way out of the zone for me. It's not something I always laid awake at night hoping I could play music one day. I play it because it is hard. Hi, I'm Miles Bristow. I live in St. Petersburg, Florida. I uh, have three children, a wife, a beautiful wife, and um, I play guitar. At least now I do. Uh, music was sort of a, not something I grew up with. I grew up in a house with no radio, TV, not allowed to go to the movies, no dancing. A coworker said, you gotta go see this band. I looked up at them, they were all in their 40s, like me, and I said, you know, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to learn guitar, I want to play music. When I first turned on the game, it kind of said, this is how to hold a pick. This is what the neck does. You know, I, I didn't know any of these things. So it spoon fed the, the notes. So it would be like every four beats or whatever it is I could handle, it would just give me that plus a little bit of extra. Once I was into this contest and realized there was a contest and decided to, to do it, um, I discovered this community. So this experience has given me access to a larger community, which is really why I think people stay in it. When I had my first Skype call with, with Anthony, it was, um, so one of you asked me, have you tried master mode? And I hadn't. But for these songs, I turned on master mode. I started using the game to learn a song. Coach Anthony had given me some ideas on just repeating some sections and kind of committed to memory. What I'm gonna do now is turn the game off. I'm actually just gonna try to play it. So I did stuff like I was playing and then I absolutely just stopped, like mid-song. But I realized that I had missed a chord or I missed a note or absolutely blanked out and forgot like what song I'm even playing, like I couldn't even continue. So there were two things I went with when I picked the songs for this contest. Number one, lead, absolutely. Probably because it's hard, right? And I did pick some pretty ambitious songs. Number two, there were songs that I've enjoyed listening to. I, I like them, so I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play that. And that's really what this, what this performance is all about. Well, yeah. So sound check wasn't perfect. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I feel <laughs> 10 excited, about a nine terrified. I got some good advice downstairs in the performer's green room. They said, you already know the song. You played it six million times. Your brain's getting in the way and you're overthinking it. Just go up there and play. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna come up on stage and I'm just gonna play. Yeah, I was uh, completely terrified when I was downstairs. When I got on stage, it was like a whole different person. I had this chill that went up my spine and then I just, I just went out and I, I don't even know what I did. It was, it was an out-of-body experience. I just want to say thank you, Rocksmith, for making this impossible dream come true. I just, I just can't even believe it. What a night. 